Amy Hunter on strike. And straight away, they're off the mark with a single. Bit of away movement and uh, she's put bat onto it. Amy had to outstretch those arms and she's earned herself that boundary around point. Brilliant to watch her continue to grow as a young cricketer. Yeah. Definitely playing away from her body. But that's the timing she possesses, no more than a push. And it just races away for four. Started to show some signs making 35 in the second game. Oh, that's up in the air. That'll take some catching. Might just land, yes, over the fielders inside the circle. And that's the chance you're going to take. Ch opportunity for a run out? No, that's good running. I don't know. They were hesitant. Three to the total. Good, solid, positive start this from Ireland. Impressive stuff. Oh, just over point. Just over point. Another boundary. Is when the pace is on the ball. So even though it's the new ball that the dangerous Santa has, Lewis and Hunter are just going to go at her. They're going to charge at her down the track. Good use of the feet. Throws the hands at it and gets good reward. Now that's a slog. And then she's found the space as well. That's a maximum. Amy, Hunter and Gabby, they both mean business today. To say, I'm going to step across. I know Dar tends to float up some leg breaks. I'm going to get it square enough. But even if I don't get it out of the middle, I'll get four. But she gets it right out of the screws. And it goes all the way for six. What a shot. What a shot. They're playing at will. Look at this for a stroke. Gorgeous from Gabby Lewis. It's a beautiful shot. Treat to watch. and uh, But she doesn't find that. Just got square of the wicket. You go to the boundary. Oh, that's cut off. That's a nice. Felt like it was certainly very close to the rope anyway. It's Fatima Sana out here. Let's take a look. We don't have the boundary checks in operation. And it's clearly hit the rope. What line she wants to bowl. And you look at that. That's driven through a point and that's going to be traveling for a boundary. So you've got to be on the same page as the bowler and the captain. That's the only option to go about. And that's beautifully done. They're not let, letting the baller settle, moving around in the crease and beautifully placed. Oh, nicely timed. Beautifully timed. That is exceptional. Just a step down the wicket, creating that gap and working it with ease into the offside. This man, the other fielder in the deep, had no chance. That's a glorious drive. Again, nicely done. That is superb cricket. Moving around in the crease, and that's what we have seen since morning by Gavi. Look at that, She's improvising. She knows that Nashra Sandhu is going to target the stumps with the angle. Off the back foot, brilliant. Fantastic cricket. This will run onto another boundary. He knew that there was a huge opportunity to score boundary into the offside, and Nashtra Sandhu ever so slightly just giving. That's nicely done and through again. The pressure we talk about that is right through the legs of the fielder for another boundary, and that brings 50 for Gabby. That is such a fantastic inning. She's moved around, she's played that authoritative inning, she's attacked all of the bowlers. That is some inning from her. Spectacular innings. You're more than a bit concerned right now. That's another very good shot. Now these shots are not slogs. Again, it's gone up. Now this is the opportunity. Can't drop that and it just drops between the bowler cover. Well, right now everything's going Ireland's way. Even this stroke, which is nowhere near where Lewis intended it as soon as it came off the bat. Swept. There'll be runs here. There'll be a long run for the fielder in the deep. Doesn't cut it off. That's another boundary there. Tag these two are giving to Pakistan. Well, this is exactly what Ireland needed. Just as Lewis struggled in the first over after the drinks break. Again, this, there's no pace on the ball. That's why it just allows the batter to run around. That's boundary again. And it's a record for Ireland women. She's almost played that stroke from behind the stumps. It's a record for Ireland women against any Test nation. Again, just shuffling around. She's been doing that exceptionally well again and again. And Gabby Lewis is all in control. Yeah, exceptional placement again. Right between the two fielders. Asha Sandhu is under pressure. Again, moving around. No, there was a chance. 
That was close. Oh! On another day, it would have gone straight to Nasha Sandhu. That's superb. He's here to support Aisha and his team. Oh, she's bowler. That's the wicket they were searching for. Playing for turn. Not targeting with a flatter trajectory. Just enough turn to beat Amy. She was looking to play a nudge into the leg side for single. It's in the air. There is a fielder. Ah, she makes no mistake. It has to be Alirias. Gulam Fatma just realizing that she's eyeing that leg side. Tossed it with some lesser pace outside oh. of the and again, there is a chance. Can Alia get to it? Can she? No, she can't. It's gone all over. And have a look at that. It doesn't matter if it's Gulam Fatma. If it's in the zone, Orla will definitely go for it. Around the wicket. Appeal. Appeal. He's, she's given it out. Another one. And reads the situation well. Have a look at that. She knew Imar prefers that sweep sort. Coming around the wicket and just cramping her for room. Finger goes up. No problem there whatsoever. Another big hit. Club down the ground. That's a very good shot. Beautiful use of the feet. Force behind the shot helped her. She comes down the wicket and she's got enough power on it. And she clears that inner field. Oh, she's locked that. There's an opportunity. Catch it was the call. She comes down and drops it. Yeah, Pakistan just fighting back somewhat. Last five overs, the score 36 for three, and oh dear, oh dear, what's happened here? Well, it's just as an example of what exactly is happening with Pakistan. This performance from Fielder, it just shows you what the mindset is in this final game. First, Fatma Sana misses, and now the two fielders just goes right through them, wanting to finish with this innings. That's a good ball. That's a very good ball. And well dug out by Rebecca. Both the sides have an opportunity to grab the series. The pressure will be on the side chasing. There you go. Through the gap. That should go for the boundary again. Three consecutive cutters. And Prendergast has lined her up. Another leg cutter. Too much width. And really good placement from Prendergast on the front foot. Yes, it was in the air for a moment. I don't mind, Andrew, if they lose a wicket or so in that process. But they can get at least, you know, eight runs and over. Kind of a power play. They're in the game. Ireland have dominated the power plays so far, haven't they? Good diving stop. Body on the line, at least a run save, maybe a couple. They're loving it. They're enjoying the cricket. And it's another good shot. Yeah, it's gone for four as well. So they've been testing the bowlers and their experience. Well, she does have a very important role, doesn't she? 37 of 23 today. She bats at all important number three. She opens the bowling. Final delivery for Pakistan to get out of their innings. Can Ireland get to 170? Well, they won't get there. It will likely just be a single. It's cleanly fielded. They're going to try and run a second. And I think she might have dropped that. So they're going to get home for two. You should always try a second. Ar Ireland get up to 168. And I think they'll be very, very pleased with that effort, Sikander. I'm not pleased with that effort from Fatma Sana. That was a clear run out. Every run counts. But 168, I, like I said just now, it's highly entertaining and a brilliant knock from uh, all the top batters. Look at that. She's coming back, rushing through it, Rebecca. And the collection from Fatima Sana is not clean. The ball just went down, really not sure. And two have been given. 